Excuse me. <clears throat> you know how you close out the year and you say certain things? Like, all the things I've done this year, I'd like to, <clears throat> first of all, thank God for making me special, uh, black, handsome, talented, and ambitious and aggressive. Without him, I can do nothing. I want to thank my family for having my back always thick, thin, in the middle, whatever, always. I'd like to thank my ACPAC crew, Angel Simmons, Herbert, Harper, Jr. Um, thank y'all for rocking with your boy. And there's a whole host of, okay, no, there's a, a number of you who have rocked with me. So first of all, thank you for that. Now let's get to the good part, shall we? Okay. If, <clears throat> if somehow or another we started the year and we were friends, like in real life, and we aren't now, it was you. It was you. You did something. You said something. You didn't own up to something. It was something. It was you. It wasn't me. It was you. Because it was me, I would owned up to it and figured it out. But it wasn't me. It was you. We were Facebook friends. And you said, oh, my God, I want to delete you. I want to block you. I want to do any of that stuff like that. And you were upset about something? Guess what? I'm not upset. I'm glad you're gone. Good riddance. It was you. You looked around, you know how you look on all of a sudden, oh my God, I thought we were cool. And yeah, it was you. It was something you felt. Because if it, it was really something, if it was something I did, I would have came to you, hey, you know what? I didn't like what you did, this and that other. Now, you got in your feelings? Fine. Take your ass on. See ya. If we were beginning to start, if we went on a couple of dates, or we called and we text and ever, and it didn't work, or something didn't happen, or whatever the case may be, guess what? It was you. It wasn't me. Because you know why? I know how to follow through. I'm the MVP. I know how to follow through. Quick side note. Had to tell my agent. Peace. Had to tell my agent. Peace. Why? Because I kept telling them, hey, could you put me in here? I know I can book this. I know I can book this. Can you get me to do this? They kept trying to put me over here in this. I'm like, I don't want to just do theater. I've done a number of that. I don't want to just do that. They're going to keep putting me here. Some other things. Some verbiage. Uh, spoke to me as somebody who I've been working very hard this year and booking and stuff like that. Guess what? It's y'all fault, not mine. Peace. Where where I leave off at? Oh yeah. Uh, if if I was supposed to be in a production, if I was supposed to be in a production and somehow or another your production fell apart or whatever, guess what? It wasn't me. It was you. It was you. It wasn't me. It was you. Because several other productions I've been in have been very successful, thriving, so on and so forth. It's cool. It's cool. Let me continue. Um, <clears throat> if we were in a relationship, you're a woman, and we were in a relationship, guess what? Yeah, I did some things wrong, sure. But ultimately, the failing of it, it was you. It was you. You dropped the ball. You fumbled. You did something. It was you. Is that it? Oh, oh. The person I was engaged to. Yeah, that was all you. My friends know. My family, everybody knows. It was you. Wanted to clear my chest. Now, somebody's probably sitting there, oh, my God, that's really narcissistic of him to say. No, you heard me say, if I did something wrong, I didn't. I didn't. One person in particular, I went to his inbox, say, hey, man, can we squash it? And he tried to get smart at me. He, he tried to get real slick in the mouth. And he's lucky I ain't seen him in real life. I smacked the taste out of his mouth just because, well, just because. But it wasn't me. It was you. 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 It was all you. It's not me. Going to 2019, let me tell you what it was me. Let me tell you what it was me. The Com Ed commercial, oh, excuse me, print ad that you're going to see all over the place, all over Chicago and stuff. Yeah, that's me. That's me. That's me. The booking of uh, Southside Butcher, Fire, that's me. Southside, as the Dumb and the Wings man, me. Detective Smiley, me. Uh, the play, I'm going to break your back next week, fifth and sixth, me. Uh, adultish, play that I'm in. I play Victor, leading role, me. Um, the voting commercial, me. Uh, the Bulls commercial, the one that she asked me, was it just going to be on the internet? Was that just going to be that little thing on the internet and it's national, plays all the time? Me. 
me, 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 me. I am going to give you what you asked for. This is what you wanted. This is what you wanted. So I'm going to give it to you. I got nothing, absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain. I have everything to gain. I have proven without a shadow of a doubt that without a lot of support, without a lot of people rooting for me, I have been dominant. I've been dominant. Dominant. When you, when you sit with, with somebody and, 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 and they don't roll with you, when they don't roll with you and, and, and you put the ring on your finger and they don't roll with you and you still go out and do your thing, I'm not popular. I'm not pretty. I'm not none of that. <laughs> but ask yourself. Ask yourself real good. There's been some people booking. Shouts out to John Brunson. I like that guy. I like that guy. He's been booking. So I got to give him his props. He's a heck of an actor, it seems like. No, I mean, excuse me. He's a heck of an actor. I've never worked with him as director side yet. But he seems like a pretty darn good, solid actor. He goes out and he books. So shouts out to him. Outside of him, Antoine McKay, uh, uh, Harold Dennis, there's a couple other dudes uh, who book like Jim. Oh, my buddy John Boss. I'm a huge John Boss fan. Don't tell him. Please don't tell him. Don't tell him I said that. I'm a huge John Boss fan. I just never can seem to get to something of his. But I'm a huge fan. I, I dig. I think dude is uber talented. I remember meeting him. And I, if, if, if you ain't booked, I'm, I'm right in that group. Now, somebody's going to say, oh, he's so arrogant. We've been knew that. We've been knew I was arrogant. We've been knew that. But it wasn't me. So if you go run into somebody and they say, what happened? Why are you and so-and-so don't talk anymore? And, uh, yeah, Antoine, Antoine Goma is okay. He didn't put me in his web series, and I sent him my stuff. Still got a little beef with him. It's cool, but, yeah, he got to make up for that because I'm dope. I'm real talented, and I've proven it. But it, I met him a couple times on Empire. He's all right. Tell him I said, what's up? He got to put me in something. <laughs> there he is. There's John Brunson. Yeah, John Brunson is that guy. He's that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him in the room. I know I got to bring it. I seen him in a couple of auditions room. He's been down to the wire, first refusals and stuff. So he's the real deal. He, I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him a couple times. You're the real deal, brother. But outside of them names I mentioned, who been booking like me? Who came from background? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who came from background to the front of the ground like that? Like that. Hmm? So, wasn't me. If you run into a woman and she says, well, well, what happened with you and James? And she's going to tell you this, that, and other, stop her in the tracks. No, no. James told me it was you. It was you. It was you. Somebody tell you why we're not cool? Guess what? It was you. It was you. So, now that I got that out of my system, been waiting, holding that one today. I had some business I had to take care of. Been looking at new agents and stuff, because I figured what you look at my resume, the way my resume has went from a page and a half to four pages in a matter of a year, and I ain't talking, that ain't no background. Just for FYI, anybody who's making a mer merge, don't put background on your resume. Unless you stood in or some sh that, don't put it on your resume. But my resume is extended, so I can go pretty much anywhere I want to go. And I booked a couple of episodics. I don't think too many people, unless they really something, have booked episodics two in like 60 days. i done it. National commercial running, print ad running, plays running, series on Amazon running. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Come on in. But come on in, sis. So, it was you. If we had a business relationship, damn it, I knew I forgot something. If we had a business relationship, and somehow or another, you think it wasn't me? Guess what? It was you because you should have said, hey, James, you didn't you didn't you didn't contact me about this. You didn't look at me for this. You didn't do this. You didn't pay this. I said, oh, OK. I would have said what happened. I would have told you. Oh, I missed it. I had somebody managing my stuff. I would have said, oh, my God, they, it, I would have told you. It was you. And that's what we're taking in 2019. You remember when I got thrown out to play last year? Shout out to Antoine McKay. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. I got mad love for Antoine. 
best thing that ever happened to me. You know why? Because I didn't put in the work I was like I was supposed to at first. I didn't understand. I've said that over and I can take onus and say I didn't give it. Like I've been giving plays now. Like I've been giving my roles now. And I come and people tell you I'm money when I come on set. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. He, he, he was supposed to, well, it could have went better. I think we could have went better. But, yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that. But otherwise, nah. It was all them. It was everybody else. Wasn't me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, this is the part where I say, you know how people always say, well, I'm going to delete you? No, nah, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time to be seeing who I, if, if you got some racist stuff or whatever, I can get rid of you. That's no problem. But, uh, uh, otherwise, hey, man, you don't like my message. You don't like what I post. I mean, get the hell on, man. Join the people who whining with their panties in a bunch and all that. Get the hell on. All right? <laughs> Jim approves this message. Thank you so much. There's the beautiful Wendy Acosta. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Wendy. Hey. The beautiful Wendy. Hey. <laughs> I had to do that. I'm always messing with her. But well, she's always messing with me. One of the two. I don't know. It's one of the two. Either she's, I think she's always, I think it's her. She's always messing with me. That's what it is. I think that's what it is, Wendy. I think you're always messing with me. I'm minding my own business. <laughs> you say some greasy stuff to me. <laughs> All right. I just walked the Beagle. I got to go see my friend because she's threatening to uh, do something to my presence. I got to go see the Enchantress. And then I got to hit the gym. All right, people. Peace.